be lawless. Thanks, Chair. Uh, thanks very much. So, first of all, I welcome the move in the F25 paper to uh, welcome the um, the that's progress certainly, and it's very welcome, um, and it's, it's good to see it. Um, I suppose a number of my questions are going to be about uh, the feasibility, technically, of of say the requirements of my legislation and. Uh, I suppose you've answered that in one sense because some of the things you're already doing voluntarily are doing that, so um, obviously it's possible. I, I suppose I had hoped it would go further, and as Deputy Smith has just mentioned, I had anticipated perhaps that there would, because the core of my legislation is the transparency notice that somebody, so it's, it's great to see what other ads are being run by the same page, uh, and it's great to be aware of the dark ads. I think that may have been available already in some cases, um, but it is important to be able to see who published or sponsored the ad. And I know you mentioned about Difficulty, and that was another one of my questions in identifying, say, an issue based ad as opposed to a candidate based ad, because usually the candidate is front and centre and their name, and you can't miss it. It's a James Lawless ad smiling at you from Facebook. Um, but the issue based ads can be more nuanced. Um, so, look, at, I suppose I, what I would say is, I have a number of other questions, but first of all, I would say, how technically feasible is that? Because um, I understand you are working on it, and I understand it is in pilot, maybe if not in Canada, you know, or if not in any jurisdictions, it's in pilot in your lab. Um, you might confirm if that's so. How far away are you from being able to do that? Um, and I suppose, in essence, the provisions within the bill of that nature, um, my understanding from previous conversations is that they are technically feasible to say that they're in, the, you, you don't see any real technical difficulties. It's just a case of getting there in terms of rolling them out. So you might just confirm that. Um, that would be great. Um, I'm going to probably do all the questions, and then allow probably other people coming in and uh, we'll come back. Um, the second question I have is around the data, uh, the data set. I mean, and again, I appreciate and acknowledge the, the note you sound in your opening statement, and indeed that Mark Zuckerberg struck last week. Um, but I suppose we, I am aware at the same time that Facebook is not a charity. You know, and while you do some good work and some good activities and some philanthropy to an extent, you, you're not really about philanthropic. That's not really why you're, you know, in existence. You're a company, you're a corporate entity, and you exist to make money. And that's fine. And there's nothing, you know, that's what most businesses do. So that, there's nothing that turns to get wrong with that. Um, but if people don't pay to use fa Facebook, um, how, you know, okay, advertisers do, but the general public don't. The 200 million or whatever number of users are on it don't. So is data a revenue stream? And I suppose a couple of particular questions. Uh, has Facebook ever sold data to third parties? Okay. Um, and the second and related theme is how many categories of data do you keep and use as the kind of metadata? And I've heard the figure of 96 categories, and I don't know if that's accurate or not. It seems like a, a large uh, metadata set. So you might just uh, come back on those. Have you sold data to third parties? And then related, how many categories of data do you have? Um, the Third question, yeah, and I suppose we've talked about Cambridge Analytica, and we heard with Commissioner Dixon uh, earlier on today, in Irish context, what's being addressed there. Um, but we did, and we did a number of questions about that as well, because it was the Irish Data Protection Office that um, responded to the Max Schrems complaint in 2012. And I suppose there's good a thought, and it's borne out by a lot of evidence, that if, uh, if the ruling of the Irish Data Protection Commissioner had been followed through in 2012, then the Kogan app uh, could not have exploited the loophole. Uh, Cambridge Analytica could not have accessed the data. Um, if we extend it to its logical conclusion, Britain might still be in the European Union, and Donald Trump might still be in the hotel business. So, you know, I suppose, how, how far does that go? You know, how, how do you respond to that? It, you know, and I suppose the key question is, why did you not uh, act sooner? And, you know, in principle, we've been over that a little bit already, but... Mark, indeed not. <laughs> we wouldn't be here. We might be doing something else uh, as well. So, um, the, the, there's, a, there's a, lot, a lot there. But I suppose, again, in an Irish context, and, and we've heard about the Kogan uh, app and the rest of it, but it's a bit horse's boat of stuff because it's a particular app that, you know, we, we've, it's been zoomed in on, and much of the commentary suggests it's really tip of the iceberg kind of thing, and it's one app we know about, but it's the unknown unknowns and the you known unknowns that are the ones that get us. So, apart from this, and I appreciate the figures you supplied in your opening statement about the, the Kogan app, but how many other apps have scraped or taken or improperly accessed data from Irish users and worldwide, if you have those figures, because I understand it's pretty high and it's actually pretty close to almost the entire data set, almost the entire user base, but you might, again, just if you could answer that uh, for me, that would be great. Um, just to note on Instagram, because we, again, we touched on GDPR coming in, uh, in, in, I think, five weeks' time. Um, my understanding is that Instagram is not yet GDPR compliant. Um, you can't download your data set, but I presume that's going to be done before the 20th of May, so you might just uh, confirm that. Um, there was mention of a two in some media reports that Facebook executives used to communicate with each other and then to uh, delete or wipe messages from your, from your own within internal messaging uh, within uh, Facebook app message Messenger. Is that available publicly? Can it be? Um, why was it only available to executives? 
what kind of information, what kind of messages were being deleted, uh, what exactly was this tool about. Um, and my last question then, I think, is, I suppose, Facebook is, is a very successful corporation, it's a very successful application, as evidenced by its take up and its user base, you know, uh, and the, I suppose, the, the, the pace at which it's grown uh, and been developed uh, from, by many apps and platforms uh, and indeed by, embraced by users uh, to the point uh, it's become a 24 7 feature of most people's lives. But, and, and very much political advertising and issue based advertising and issue based you know, discussions even are very much a part of that. And you know, basically, the controversial people get into threads and debates and arguments, and that's part of the whole package. So I suppose it's hard to understand with the resources and knowledge and uh, data available to you, how is it credible that you didn't know about things like Russian interference in US elections, you know, about, about Brexit, about other, you know, as we saw in the Catch Channel 4 program around the world. It's hard to, to believe that you didn't have any inkling that any of this was going on. Um, you know, I, I'd like to believe it, but it's, it's, it's hard to be credible to, to you know, that, 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 is, that, that basically didn't, you know, we're in complete ignorance of all these activities and only found out when Channel 4 did some digging around and came back and told you what's been happening in your platform for the last number of years. It's just hard to, hard to, uh, to suppose to take that at face value. So, look, I'd appreciate if you might give us some response to that. Thank you. Thank you. Um